Hello everyone, Course Vlog. We're doing a three whole Course Vlog today. I got some requests for another updated Course Vlog. So I came over on the short side today where nobody is. They have a tournament on the big course today. So nobody's over here. So it gave me a chance to make some videos. Um, 338 to 341 yard par four. I'm gonna take a three wood, the Titleist 975F with the EI-70 shaft. I call it Old Faithful. My goal is just to place it out there anywhere between 100 and 120 yards and give myself a nice easy shot into the green. So I'm gonna hit my standard draw. I'm gonna to go to my regular standard shot and try to start it at the right side of the fairway and draw it back into the center of the fairway. to know better than that it did just what I wanted it to do okay so your critical data on this hole is going to be very di different depending on who you are okay some guys are going to go ahead and take the driver on this one you know I mean you can there's no damage on here unless you go far unless you go left or right okay then you're going to have a difficult shot. So um, it all depends on what you're comfortable with. You can actually hit a five wood or a hybrid on this hole with no issues at all and still have a, you know, a, a, a respectable club into the pin. You know, you know so I mean, it's 100% it's dependent on um, the shot that, that you want to hit. Alrighty. They go the 100 yard marker and they go um, my ball. Let me get a camera angle on here. So I got 100 yards into the green. Depends on the on the back center. Alrighty. Hmm. I feel like it's playing shorter today because it's so hot out here. But remember, we play at sea level in New Orleans. Alrighty. So I'm still gonna take a um a 53 degree wedge. I'm gonna do a control. I'm gonna do a controlled shot, three quarter swing shot. I'm gonna try to keep keep the ball in front of the pin. Nice shot right there. I picked the ball clean and we'll go up here and check it out. So what I did, I just picked that ball nice and clean because I didn't want to put no, um, no juice on it and have that ball come back on me because you'll see when you get up here, this green actually has some, a lot of contour to it and it's sloping from right to left and from front to back. I mean, it's sitting on a salad bowl. Yeah, see, look at all the contour in this green. So I didn't want to suck it back. So I picked the ball clean, didn't take a divot because I didn't want to um, add a lot of spin to the ball from 100 yards because, see, that it would have spent back over here or away from it. So I'm right here in front of the pin, and that should be an easy little um, shot for me to get up here. You know, should be a flat putt. Uphill, I can be aggressive with it.
Okay, that's a par, not the greatest shot. You know, should have been from 100 yards, that should have been a birdie, especially with a wedge in my hand. But did you see that ball take a jump on my um, on my putt? It hit something. These The greens are aerated, just Friday, okay? So it hit something and bounced off line drastically, but I made the par putt, and I'm never going to complain about old man par. Hey, keep grinding, subscribe, become a Patreon. Look at the link below on the Patreon page. Um, Dr. Blades Golf Workshop. I have private one-on-one -on -one conversations with people. I have private lessons with people. I have private um, videos in the whole nine yards. Take care. Okay, course vlog. The second hole. It's going to be 163 yard par three, force carry over water, thick, thick rough all the way around the green. I'm taking a seven iron, Daiwa, 1980, 1981 model blade with di diamond Kevlar shaft. Still have the original shaft grip on it, the grip right shaft grip. Bet you ain't seen those in a while, have you? I picked these up at Play It Again Sports for $24.99 with a 15% discount off. So I walked out the door playing $22. Just for the shaft alone, I was like, do they know what they have? So I was blown away, but I took them out to the course and played with them. So now I've made the decision. The only thing I'm going to do is put grips on them that's for my size, mid-size grips, and I'm going to keep them in the bag. I'm not even going to go get them loft and lie checked because right now I'm hitting them so well, I don't care what the loft and lie is because they're, they're not doing nothing weird to me or extraordinary. So I don't, need, I don't need no more information about them, okay? Take care. 163 yards, seven hours should be plenty of club. Smoked it. Let's go over here and check this one out. So I hit a nice big old loop and draw. And I'm telling you, I can see it from here. Here's the water you got to go over. Little pond. You know, so this is a good hole. You know, got a bunker up there, you know, green side bunker. But I hit a nice shot into here. Wow. Yeah, tricky pin placement for me because, you know, I, when pins are on the right, you know, they're kind of tricky for me because I built a shot pattern where I'm hitting it um, pretty straight with a bailout or I'm hitting it um, a little baby draw. Alrighty, but I'm happy with that. Okay, so I'll take you up here, show you where I played from. Air rated greens. There's the ball, there's the pin, and I played from back there. So that was a nice shot, beautiful ball flight. That's why I said I'm not gonna do anything with these clubs because the ball flight is spot on. I'm drawing the ball about two to three yards on, at the biggest point. All right, that's a par three on a par three. Um, had a little break in it that I didn't read, but that's okay. I didn't read it as good as much. And I'm not really reading the greens as much today because the greens was aerated on Friday. But hey, keep grinding. Smash that like button. Leave your comments below. And give me your videos so we can get your swing together, baby. Take care. Course vlog, final hole. This one is 424 yards. Um, sea level, so it's playing every bit of the yard. We've had a ton of rain down here in the Gulf Coast, so you're not getting no roll in the fairway. So I'm going to try to just launch this one all in the air. I'm playing a Titleist 905R, 8.5 degree driver, and I'm actually going to do my uh, my Mach 3 training. The um, load and unload, where I load it up, 
and I unload it. So I'm going to make sure that I'm loading everything up and unloading, and I'm going to try to get maximum distance on this tee shot. that ball but I think I can still play it. I pushed it over the whole entire lake but it was hit good. So we're gonna go up to this right hand side. I mean I hit it well enough to cover the lake. Let's go over here and see what we got. It's gonna give us a shot to the green because the pin's on the back left. So that'll be perfect. I mean, if you're gonna miss, make sure you, so I covered this whole lake right here. I blew it over this lake. So, I mean, I hit it that well where I still had a shot. I'd have to worry about um, plinking it. Yep, there it go. All right. Playing it out the rough a little bit. All right, but I got a straight shot at the pin from here. Don't know if I'm going to get a flyer or not. Won't know until I get there. rough shut me down did you see that okay the rough opened my face up so that's punished I got punished for not hitting the fairway but that's hey that's part of golf right and I thought it was gonna jump out of there I thought I was gonna have a flyer but I didn't have a flyer Okay, here we go. We making this little hole difficult, ain't we? But that's golf though. Okay, we on the green. We can get a putt out of here. What I did on that one was tighten up the last three fingers on my target side hand, because you can see how deep the rough is over here. So that allows me not for the face to flip open. And now I have a chance. At least I have a chance, you know. And that's what it's all about. I mean, I hit perfect distance out of the rough, so you're not gonna complain about that because you can't control the ball out of the rough. So let's go over here and see if we can make a putt. If not, we're gonna get over here one over on the three hole course vlog. Ah, look at that, perfect distance, but I played out of the rough. Punishment for, punish for my tee shot. Let's see if we can get this par in here. But I'm not gonna be so aggressive where I bring double bogey into the equation either.
Okay, so we played one over for the three hole course vlog. This hole caught me because my driver got in the rough and then I tried to take too much club out of the rough and the rough shut the face down. So that's something I always think about. But I made a good recovery shot with my approach shot, with my, um, my scramble shot, which was a wedge. And then I made a putt and got out of here with a bogey. Bogies don't kill you. The best players in the world can get a bogey, okay? Take care. Keep grinding. Okay, folks, course vlog. Let's add one more hole, okay? 323 yard, par four, water on the right hand side, same old OB on the left. You can actually go past the water, but you're gonna be playing out of five to six and seven inch rough over there. So you really wanna hit the fairway on this one, okay? This is the older nine out of the championship 27 holes. They got a lot of shorter holes, but they still got a lot of character on it. With them having a tournament on the other side, it gives me a chance to come over here and make some, some course vlogs and do some videos. I'm taking a driver. I'm trying to get as close as possible to this hole as I can. Leave myself with a nice little wedge or whatever like that, okay? Absolutely smoked that ball. Okay, so here's the deal. One thing improving your speed and conditioning is that it allows you to create power and speed where it's most beneficial and where you get the most um, advantage out of it. So I'm swinging nice and smooth but right in the kill zone, if you take a picture of my kill zone, look at the power and the generation the extension that I'm getting between um, nine o'clock, nine and three o'clock, okay? What I call the, the kill zone. I'm, I'm generating so much speed and power through that, and my swing is more efficient. I'm hitting the center of the club face that I'm getting optimum distance, and I'm swinging as smooth as Ernie Els. I mean, I'm swinging as smooth as Ernie Els and I'm getting, this, I'm getting really good distance. Look at this ball, this ball is up here. The short hole, 323 yards. And I'm telling you, I'm, look at this. I'm right here with a flip wedge, 30 yards, 35 yards. You know, like I said, the hole today is probably playing 310, 315. I like it's playing a little bit shorter today, but, um, but I actually, I absolutely launched that ball. Remember, the reason why I'm getting good distance is because the 90s. You see the shoulder turn? Did you see the 90 degree? I, I allowed the club head just to, to, um, to set the wrist naturally. And then up here, I was probably three quarters. I opened up. I hit it with a full extension, throwing the ball to it. You know, there's a lot of power between 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock. You don't have to swing parallel. If you do swing parallel, that's fine and dandy but you don't have to swing parallel to be a long hitter or to be an efficient hitter. Remember, if you wanna get distance, the first thing you can do is to increase your efficiency. Become a more efficient ball striker where you're hitting the ball in the center of the club face and you're not getting as much side spin on the ball. The second thing you can do is increase your speed and your conditioning, okay? shot I tossed that ball up out of this rough really high and like I say I like to visualize the ball is landing like a butterfly with hurt feet you know ooch ooch ouch ouch where it don't want to go too far alrighty and I, I left myself on the short side of the green with that pitch shot I didn't know that pin was sitting there if I would have known that I would have worked the draw it didn't make a difference but nice shot. I got a chance to bring this course vlog back to even par if I can get this birdie putt in here. If not, we played four holes at um, plus one.
birdie, baby. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. We back to even par for the course vlog. Four holes. I got a birdie on this hole. I played it aggressive, and I'm back to even par. Take care. Keep grinding. Become a Patreon. Leave your comments below. Send those videos in. If you want to you learn how to golf and play golf the way I play golf, where you manage the course, you get out of here with good scores no matter where you play, contact Dr. Blades for life at gmail.com. Keep grinding.